15 Pennsylvanians will die today of a drug overdose. 15 more will die tomorrow and the day after that. It's a staggering number. Now, there is a new drug threatening to push those fatalities even higher. Today, Governor Shapiro vowed to push back. Here's Dennis Owens. Xylazine, or Trank as it's called on the street, is used to sedate large farm animals. It has no human use, but more and more humans are using. This powerful drug was never meant to be used in the human body, and its devastating effects are leading to the deaths of our neighbors, family members, friends, and coworkers. We cannot stand idly by while this drug ravages our communities. Xylazine killed at least 90 Pennsylvanians in 2017. By 2021, that number had swelled to 575 and will no doubt be higher when 2022 stats are released, Governor Shapiro said in announcing that he's classifying Xylazine as a Schedule Three drug. There's tighter requirements around the delivery of scheduled drugs to guarantee that the person who ordered it is actually the one who signed for it and scheduled drugs must be stored in locked facilities. Rescheduling also lets police and prosecutors more aggressively pursue pushers. And make sure that those drug dealers who are peddling these poisons to our children, peddling these poisons on our streets, are held to account. But Shapiro's toughness toward those pushing softens toward those using, urging them to get help. It's not a crime and it's not a moral felling. The longer we keep people alive, the greater the chance we have to get people into the care and treatment that they need and deserve. But the chances of surviving xylazine are diminished. It's not an opioid and can't be reversed by Narcan. It causes severe respiratory conditions, which lead to respiratory failure and death. It also induces a state of con unconsciousness and paralysis, making it almost impossible for victims to seek help. While rescheduling a drug might seem like mere paperwork, many say its impact will be felt by real people. So I want to put it plainly as possible as I can. This decision is the right decision, and it will save the lives of countless Pennsylvanians. While some believe that supervised and safe injection sites would also save lives, Shapiro made clear he does not support those. In Harrisburg, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.